Now on Coast TV News. Angola road work almost complete. Lewis communities breathing a sigh of relief. Emergency hurricane relief, community donations for those in need. And it's been a fantastic Friday on the peninsula. I am tracking a few clouds in the overnight. Could spawn an isolated shower or two, but a fantastic weekend looms. I'll break it all down in my latest forecast here in minutes. This is Coast TV News at 5. Almost done. The road work you see on your screen now in Lewis should wrap up in the next two months. Good evening. I'm Christina D. Robertis. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight on Angola Road. If you take a look at the map on your screen right now, this section of road has been under construction since April. And for the people that live in the neighborhoods just off Angola Road, they say it's been a real hassle. Live in Lewis is Coast TV news reporter Brandon Ferguson. Brandon, you're on the edge of the construction site. Christina, there's a lot going on here on Angola Road. Just check out this pile of dirt and rock and all the construction equipment behind me left over from this week's work. And I spoke with people today that were affected by this road work every single day, and they're just relieved that it's getting back to normal. Driving by Angola Road on Route 24, crews are hard at work improving and widening this stretch of road. For the last six months, this project has had a major impact on traffic in the area. Well, every time I have to go out to a store, to a hardware store, to a grocery store, we have to go and it's approximately three miles to go all the way around and get back to the same intersection. So that's, that's a lot. But it's almost over. DelDot tells Coast TV that it should be completed by the end of this year. When they're finished, this is what the intersection will look like. Ken Burleson, who lives nearby, says the work hasn't really bothered him. It's not that big a deal. I mean, some people may be because they've got to drive a little ways around the block, but it's no big deal. This is the progress so far here on the east side of this construction. Still no blacktop on the road. And as you can see behind me, dump trucks have been pouring stone all day here on the east end to be set and ready for blacktop. Things looked different just one month ago on September 4th. Chuck Kirby, who lives in the area and can't wait to enjoy some of the benefits of this upgrade. When they finish that, makes it so much nicer getting in and out and uh, will help reduce you know, the amount of waiting time at the light. It's overreaction, yeah. I mean, I had no problem. You know, you know, if you come down here for the first time, it's inconvenient. These cones and the traffic that goes with them should only slow people down for a few more months. It will be smooth sailing or at least smooth driving. Once Angola Road is finished, it will join Robinsonville Road here to complete a fully completed intersection. In Lewis, Brandon Ferguson, Coast TV News. Thank you, Brandon. And speaking of road work, a new law changes two key parts to Delaware's move over law. This is aimed at helping construction crews, DelDot workers, utility workers, and first responders on crash scenes. Now in Delaware, if someone does not yield to those crews, there's some higher penalties. A first offense is now $250 instead of $150. A second violation could be up to $500 and further offenders could pay up to $1,000. Also, when drivers cannot yield, they must go at least 20 miles under the speed limit if the speed limit is 50 miles per hour or more. From Georgetown to Georgia, people came together today to collect and organize donations to send those that have been affected by Hurricane Helene. At the Old Paths Church off Christ, of Christ, volunteers sorted through items, things like water, food, hygiene products, and even cleaning supplies. One truck full of supplies, that was sent to Georgia yesterday, another heading to North Carolina today. Volunteers are hoping that they can make a difference for those impacted by the hurricane. I hope it helps lift their spirits. I hope it helps their needs. I was thinking this morning, they need everything. They've lost everything. Organizers say they plan to continue to help in the days to come for those in need. Private helicopter companies are stepping up in western North Carolina, helping to deliver much needed aid to small mountain communities cut off by devastating flood damage from Helene. 
The storm dumped more than 14 inches of rain over three days onto western North Carolina. A Tennessee-based flight company arrived the day before, bringing a ground crew, fuel, and three helicopters. Officials say they've carried out an estimated 150 deliveries of food, water, baby items, fuel, and Starlink satellites. So we were some of the first people and, and, the, and Savage were some of the first people in the area to begin bringing in aid. And it's all, um, it, it's all community based, essentially. Each helicopter can carry approximately 400 pounds of supplies and aid. Aside from local donations, FEMA says more than $45 million in flexible upfront funding has been provided to thousands of storm survivors. More than 11 million meals and more than 12 and a half million liters of water have been distributed to victims. In addition, the agency says it has provided more than 400,000 tarps and 150 generators to storm survivors. This brings us right into our Coast TV poll this evening. We want to know how do you prefer to contribute to things like relief efforts? Taking a look at the results, it looks like most of you will just donate money, 44% saying money. There's nothing wrong with that. A little cold, hard cash always helps. Um, some people donating supplies, volunteer time, and services. But 26% saying I don't contribute. So at least... You're being honest. <laughs> well, if you want to get involved in this, uh, and maybe these numbers will shift around, we'll have to see. Go to coasttv.com or use your Coast TV mobile app, and we'll check in on that at Coast TV News at 6. Taking a live look outside into the Laurel area. Looks decent out there, a little hazy, but let's find out a little more accurately what things are going on here from meteorologist Chris Mastrobono. Hey there, Charlie. Yeah, you know what? It's pretty, pretty nice Friday overall. We've seen more in the way of cloud cover, especially away from the coast, but it has been dry and pleasant. Here's a live look into Dover from our Bay Health Cam. Quiet there, 73 degrees, winds generally about 12 miles an hour. As we check out elsewhere across the area, we're at 70 in Bethany Beach, 73 in Millsboro, 75 in Seaford, and 73 in Salisbury. It's going to be a very nice evening. You can see more clear at the coast, but away we have a weak front that it's kind of falling apart, but it's going to provide us with some clouds overnight and maybe a stray shower or sprinkle, not expecting anything significant. So if you're heading out for ball games this evening, we are looking A-OK. -okay. Temperatures falling into the upper 60s by kickoff, and then we're going to be at the mid-60s by halftime. We'll talk more about the weekend forecast. It's shaping up to be very nice and an overall dry stretch of weather coming up here in a little bit. In consumer news, a major win for the U.S. labor market today with the release of the September jobs report. Leah Waldeman shows us how the U.S. economy is blowing expectations out of the water, adding over a quarter million jobs. After a disappointing jobs report in July and August, September is one to remember. When workers do well, the economy is stronger, the nation is stronger, and this jobs report is an example of that. U.S. job growth surged last month. Employers added an estimated 254,000, according to data released Friday by the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, much higher than August's monthly total. On top of the jobs added, the unemployment rate dropped from 4.2 percent to 4.1 percent. Acting Secretary of Labor Julie Su says this latest jobs report isn't a declaration of victory, but rather a declaration of progress four years after the start of the pandemic. Real wages continue to be up, inflation rate uh, and uh, the interest rate are going down, and all of this is a sign of a historic and unprecedented economic recovery. The jobs report comes just weeks after the Federal Reserve decided to cut interest rates by half a percentage point, indicating an elusive soft landing could be reached. Leal Brenner, the White House National Economic Advisor, suggested even with this positive jobs report, another rate cut could be on the horizon. We are seeing that inflation has come back down and interest rates have been falling. Uh, and today we saw the, uh, the jobs market continues to expand. That's very, very good progress. In New York, I'm Lee Waldman reporting. This November, DART is adjusting some of its roots. Dell Dot announced today that the Route 215 service, that's Rehoboth to Millsboro, will be stopped after 9.30 p.m. due to low ridership. Also, the on-site route to Georgetown Professional Park on Route 212 
will be ending for the same reason, low ridership. Changes go into effect on November 17th. The color pink, you might be seeing that a lot over the next couple of weeks as October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. One of the bigger and more popular events to raise money in the battle against breast cancer is Dewey Goes Pink. The town says about 5,000 people are signed up for the race, which is a 5K and a 1.5 mile fun walk. In order to keep people safe, the town says parts of Route 1 are close to traffic and the north side of Dewey Beach is also closed to through traffic. That's because the race goes through the neighborhoods. Paul Bauer, a Dewey Beach commissioner, says seeing people come together is the best part of the day. I'll tell you, this is the, probably the best off-season event that we have coming up. Um, so many people come from all over, not just Delaware, Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania. They come from all over. The event starts in Dewey Beach at 11 a.m. on Saturday. Still to come, just how much experts say you need to bring home to reach the American dream. And we're seeing cloudy skies in Laurel, but despite the cloud cover, we will stay dry through the evening with temperatures falling into the upper 60s. We'll talk about plenty of sunshine through the weekend and highs not even reaching 70 degrees in that extended forecast. That's coming up. Are you looking for some spooky fun or cool finds this weekend? Well, stay tuned for your cool things to do. Lupo Italian Kitchen in downtown Rehoboth Beach has been serving award-winning Italian food since 2008. Located inside the Hotel Rehoboth, Lupo serves traditional and coastal Italian cuisine, pairing Mediterranean flavors with fresh seafood and local produce. Lupo has an extensive all-Italian wine list, monthly wine dinners, and a friendly and knowledgeable staff. Popular dishes include chicken parmesan, lobster bucatini, and veal meatballs. Lupo Italian Kitchen on Rehoboth Avenue, serving happy hour daily and open seven days a week. See you soon. I would never take a tax credit that I wasn't entitled to. Angela also Brooks took tax deductions she did not qualify for. Also Brooks improperly took advantage of tax breaks she did not qualify for. Also Brooks claimed a homestead tax break for a townhouse she rented. Also Brooks is accused of improperly claiming senior citizens tax breaks. She used multiple methods which she was not qualified for to save thousands of dollars. No, I don't. I don't believe I'm above the law. Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. As temperatures drop, FH Fur invites you to be part of something truly heartwarming, our Fall into Comfort Toy Drive. Through December 15th, for only $29, the experts at FH Fur will perform a comprehensive heating system inspection, ensuring your home stays snug through the chilly months ahead. The best part? 100% of the proceeds will go to the United States Marine Corps Reserve's Toys for Tots. Schedule your heating inspection today with FH Fur. 877-CALL-FUR FHFur.com Yeah, we getting all fired up Getting ready for the players when they line up Think it's time we go and get them lights up Let them high school lights ignite us Cause we fighters coming with a hut hut Like this, coming with a pick six Like that, gonna be a showdown So big, think it's time for football night to impact High school football is everything This is Coast TV News at 5. As we welcome October, there is no shortage of fun activities this weekend. That's good news. Whether you're feeling crafty or in the mood to snag some great deals, Christina DiRobertis has your cool things to do. Happy October and happy spooky season, everyone. If you're trying to get into the fall spirit, I have some great options for you this weekend. On both Saturday and Sunday night, you can catch Boo! 13 scenes from Halloween at the Riverfront Theater in Milford, presented by Second Street Players. It's a wickedly fun show with trick-or-treaters, witches, goblins, and spooky surprises. Next, you can hit the streets of Rehoboth and Dewey for the 47th annual Fall Sidewalk Sale. From 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., shop till you drop with unbeatable deals and one-of-a-kind finds all weekend long. Celebrate all things craft at the Crafts and Crafts Festival in Lewis. Also on both weekend days, that means art, beer, and history. Over 50 local and regional artisans will be joined by local craft breweries and a local meadery for the two-day event. And more craft fun is happening at the Cheer Community Center in Georgetown. Whether you're selling your goods or looking to buy something new, merchandise ranges from books, baseball cards, toys, 
jewelry, and more. For event details, tickets, and more, you know what to do. Just head to CoastTV.com and click on the Cool Things to Do tab. From laminate and vinyl to tile and wood, Floor & Decor has more options for pros, homeowners, and anyone looking for the right look at the right price. Your next beautiful space is at Floor & Decor. Teens have drama. One more minute! Braces add more drama. Oh, how does anyone do this? Invisalign is better oral hygiene and no drama. Not happy with your home's builder grade gas fireplace? Let Shagrin Home Comfort Products upgrade your fireplace with a new one from Mendota, Regency, or Cozy Heat. These gas fireplaces add both warmth and aesthetic to your home. Shagrin has plenty of different styles and sizes to choose from. What are you waiting for? Start your fall fireplace project now before it's too late. Stop in one of our local showrooms or give us a call at 302-644-7700 to see how Shagrin Home Comfort Products can warm up your home. Be charmed by Lewis. Visit our unique shops and restaurants. The Brush Factory is the area's premier destination for the unique and unusual for home, garden, and you. Come support our 60-plus local merchants and artists. Welcome to Lewis Brewing Company, your new local microbrewery. Enjoy fresh craft beers and a great local spot to gather and unwind. We can't wait to serve you. Savor the best of the season with fresh local seafood, farm-to-table produce, and well-aged prime Angus beef. At Harvest Tide over the bridge in Lewis. Lots to do and see. In Lewis. Too many people think government doesn't respect them. I try to do things differently. I brought Democrats and Republicans together to pass paid leave because helping people care for their loved ones respects families. I helped raise the minimum wage because respecting workers means paying them a decent wage. And I will always defend Social Security and Medicare because I respect those are benefits that seniors have earned. I'm Sarah McBride. I approve this message because everyone deserves a government that respects them. With more than 25 years of surgical expertise, Dr. Julie Berry is now accepting new patients at Tidal Health Ear, Nose, and Throat Surgery. Dr. Berry offers specialized care for a wide range of general ear, nose, and throat disorders. Whether you're dealing with chronic sinus issues or require advanced surgical intervention, Dr. Berry is here to provide expert care tailored to your specific needs. Discover the difference that expert care can make. Schedule your appointment today. Here at North Bay Marina, we know that boaters have the most fun. Well, you made it through the week as we embark on the first weekend here in October, and the weather is certainly going to cooperate with any plans you may have uh, outdoors. Uh, live look into Ocean View, beautiful shot there, 70 degrees. Seeing some higher clouds roll in. You had mostly sunny skies throughout most of the day along the coast, but we are beginning to see some clouds filter into the peninsula. We're at 70 in Bethany Beach, 72 in Lewis. 74 in Seaford and 73 in Salisbury. Continuing to see that coastal flood advisory for Dorchester, Somerset, and Wacomico counties. That is until 7 o'clock tonight. We'll see if the National Weather Service decides to extend that. But as I mentioned, there's the clouds beginning to roll in. We have a weak frontal boundary to our west. As you can see, it's not providing a lot of moisture, so not expecting much in the way of rain chances through the overnight. Well, there you have the average peak fall foliage. Generally, it's early November to mid-November across much of the peninsula. Current fall foliage, you're beginning to see some patchy areas working themselves into the peninsula, but some moderate there up in the Poconos and then at the peak to near peak up in the Catskills. So uh, we're making our way along here in the fall season. So partly to mostly cloudy overnight, temperatures falling into the lower 60s. As I mentioned, that front moves through. So we start Saturday off with some clouds, but they quickly burn off and we are going to see plenty of sunshine through the afternoon, setting the stage for a beautiful start to the weekend and and temperatures in the upper 70s. So future cast shows maybe a sprinkle, a brief shower overnight, not much. The clouds to start, but plenty of sunshine by the afternoon. By Sunday morning, a chilly start, lower to mid 50s, and then wall to wall sunshine through the afternoon as we get right back up into the 70s. So as I mentioned, any outdoor plans this weekend, we are looking at very nice temperatures in the upper 70s to around that 80 degree mark. And yes, it will be an amazing weekend as far as weather goes. Now that other front moves through 
Sunday night into Monday, that could spawn a few showers as well. Again, not a whole lot of moisture associated with this front, but it's going to kind of reinforce cooler air, northerly winds, and it is really going to feel fall like next week with highs struggling to get to the 70 degree mark. And as we mentioned yesterday, that six to 10 day precip outlook. Yes, we are looking quite dry across much of the eastern half of the country. So 59 overnight, mostly cloudy skies. Again, that isolated sprinkle chance, few clouds to start, but a beautiful afternoon and a beautiful weekend. 78 on Sunday, your Paul Davis seven day forecast shows 75 on Monday. Could see a brief shower early Monday. Again, not expecting much. Plenty of sunshine through the afternoon. And then behind that front, check out some of those highs struggling to get to the 70 degree mark. And what you don't see in that seven day forecast is a lot of rain chances and plenty of sunshine, Charlie. Chris, we are heading into week five of the NFL season and we have a big game Sunday night when the Pittsburgh Steelers take on the Cowboys of Dallas. Coverage starts at 7 p.m. right here on Coast TV. And a jam packed today on the Delmarva Sports Network at 6 p.m. Tune into Down and Distance, followed by Scoops and Score. Then at 7, it's the Delaware High School football when Milford hosts St. Elizabeth's. At 10:30, it's Nittany Game Week, and at 11, it's the final score. And over on the DSN Plus app, we have the Milford Homecoming football game. And here are your DSN exclusives. At 7 p.m., it's Bayside Conference football when Queen Anne's takes on. North Carolina football also at that same time, Polytech plays Christiana. The holiday season is going to be here before we know it, and that means the return of Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. It's through generous donations that we do our best to make sure every child has a present to open Christmas morning. We do that by supporting charities that handpick families in need. We're accepting funding applications from those nonprofits right now through October 18th. Coast TV News at 5. We'll be right back. Over 14,000 people per day are affected by water damage in their home or business. Even a small leak from a water heater, washer, refrigerator line, or even HVAC drain can cause lasting damage. Response time is critical. Paul Davis has a team of certified experts on call 24-7 to stop the water, mitigate damage, and work directly with your insurance to quickly restore your home or business. If you see peeling paint, stains, mold, or smell a musty odor, call Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Weather is sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration, your storm damage experts, here to help now. The floor is lava! When your floor starts showing signs of wear and tear from all the fun and games, Carpet and Tile Mart makes it easy to afford and install new flooring within a week. Carpet and Tile Mart, available, affordable, at your service. It's Delmarva's best kept secret. Johnny Janosik's Outlet and Clearance Center. Save up to 80% on name brand furniture and mattresses. Shop one of a kind, customer cancellations, scratch and dents, discontinued items, and more. Find incredible deals store wide. We have something for everyone and something for every room in your home. Shop early and often. New products arrive daily. And buy it today, get it today. Discover the secret. Shop Johnny Janosik's Outlet and Clearance Center in Laurel and Dover. Check out the amazing deals at the all-new Preston Hyundai of Millsboro. Preston Hyundai of Millsboro has almost 200 new Hyundais available with nearly 100 priced at under 30 grand. As your dedicated Hyundai dealer in Sussex County, Delaware, we are committed to going the extra mile to help you find the right vehicle and provide exceptional service throughout your ownership. Check out MillsboroHyundai.com to buy online and we'll deliver it to your front door. Visit us at the all-new Preston Hyundai of Millsboro and discover why people say cars cost less with Preston. Carpet and Tile Mart, we've got thousands of in-stock flooring solutions for every room. Now save up to 50% off, plus 0% financing up to 36 months. Hurry in before the sale is over. Only at Airbase Carpet and Tile Mart Flooring Supercenters. Dad, I need your help. I am in over my head with this house. I've got buckling floors, doors that won't close, sick kids, and a frustrated wife. Did you call Dry Zone? No, I called the cheaper guys. You've got to call Dry Zone. They're the oldest and the best. Just like you, Dad. Protect your largest investment with Delmarva's local choice. Dry Zone, the oldest and the best. Brought to you by Dry Zone, your local crawl space experts. In regional news, a dead body discovered in the north prong of the Wicomico River has been identified as 42-year-old Joseph Alexis of Salisbury. 
He was reported missing on September 30th, which led to an investigation by the Salisbury Police Department. On Wednesday, police responded to a report of a dead body found in the river near Mill Street. According to police, investigators are still working to determine how Alexis ended up in the river and the cause of death. They do say foul play is currently not suspected. Well, do you want to achieve the American dream? Well, it'll cost you $4.4 million, according to a financial market news and investment site. The most expensive item was retirement at $1.6 million. Next is the lifetime cost of home ownership at $930,000. Raising two kids, including college, costs an average of $832,000. If you had a couple million, you might be able to go to this. New today, United Airlines adding flights to accommodate the Swifties. Taylor Swift has scheduled three Vancouver shows, December 6th, 7th, and 8th. The air carrier announced it will add three daily non-stop flights to Vancouver between December 5th to the 9th. New flights have also been added for return legs. Bookings for the other cities hosting the Taylor Swift tour are already well above normal. Coming up, the Brandywine Valley SPCA is back with another adoption event all month long. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. Find your better night's sleep for less at Johnny Genosik's Mattress World. Shop the area's largest selection of the best name brand mattresses and find incredible savings on Beautyrest Black, Serta Eye Comfort, Stearns & Foster, Casper and & Kingsdown. And you'll sleep easy with free local delivery on premium mattresses. Plus, get a $300 MasterCard reward card on select brand purchases for a limited time only at Johnny Genosik's Mattress World. No strangers here, just friends you haven't met yet. With comfortable outdoor seating and an authentic Irish bar, Irish Eyes in Milton is a local favorite by the Broadkill River. Irish Eyes in Lewis with ample free parking, a gorgeous waterfront patio, extensive menu favorites, and the best happy hour on the water. Book our Lewis room for all of life's celebrations. With a lovely panoramic view, in-house chef, and a professional team to make your next event one to remember. Find out more at irisheyespub.com your personal injury case, make sure you hire the right kind of lawyer. There are two kinds of lawyers, if lawyers and when lawyers. If you're talking to your friend and you say, if we win my case, I'm going to get a new car, then you know you've got an if lawyer. If you're talking to your friend and say, when we win my case, I'm going to get a new car, then you know you got a when lawyer. At my law firm, we're all when lawyers. If you've been injured in an accident, tip the scales of justice in your favor. Call Schwartz & Schwartz today. Hey, Delaware, Bet Rivers and Delaware Park Casino are bringing betting on football to your phone. From props and parlays to the spread and the money line, it's all on your phone and it's all a touchdown. Plus, right now when you sign up, you'll get a second chance bet of up to $500. So huddle up with Bet Rivers, Delaware Park Casino, and football on your phone. Download the app today. It's a prosecutor's job to help keep families safe. And as state's attorney, I did so without apology because I believe anyone who commits a heinous crime or anyone who harms a child must be held accountable. I worked with law enforcement and cut violent crime by 50%. And as county executive made investments to recruit and train more officers. I'm Angela also Brooks, and I'm running for Senate because I never back down from tough jobs. That's why I approve this message. If you've been wanting to find a forever home for a four-legged friend, stop by the Winter Subaru in Dover tomorrow. From 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., the Brandywine Valley SPCA will be holding an adoption event. This initiative is part of Subaru Loves Pets Month. The SPCA will be out in the community and at local Subaru dealerships all month long. And the weather's certainly going to be cooperating this uh, weekend. We'll start with a few clouds Saturday, but plenty of sunshine by the afternoon and certainly plenty of it by Sunday with temperatures in the upper 70s. So a beautiful weekend overall. And you can get that forecast at any time by calling our first alert weather phone at 443-880-9100. Your Paul Davis 10-day shows a lot of sunshine, maybe a brief shower early Monday morning and some fall-like temperatures by next week. 
Thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition is up next. And we'll see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.